Ask anybody to name an anime movie, and chances are that they will name a Studio Ghibli film. For over 30 years, Studio Ghibli has brought us many a beloved films that all of us have enjoyed throughout our lifetime. So it was very sad to hear that the studio would be halting productions following the retirement of Hayao Miyazaki. Or was he retiring? Maybe? Maybe not? Well, either way, I'm once again spending this month of January looking over all the films Studio Ghibli had a hand in making. But since there are not enough films to fill up 31 days, I will also be looking at the films that led up to the creation of Studio Ghibli and films related to Ghibli in some form. For these movies, I will be looking at the English dub version, if one is available. Because that's the version most of us were introduced to when we first watched these movies. So strap in as we ride the wind on this magical journey into the films of Studio Ghibli. Horus, Prince of the Sun, marks the directorial debut of one of Studio Ghibli's greatest directors, Isao Takahata. Whenever anybody talks about Ghibli films, they always talk about Hayao Miyazaki. And while I do agree the man is a wonderful director, I feel that some love should be given to Takahata. He is not only one of the founding members of Studio Ghibli, but also one of the leading directors that has directed the most films for the company, second only to Miyazaki. Speaking of Miyazaki, this is also the first film that Miyazaki worked on with Takahata, a trend that the two would continue for the rest of their careers. Everything Ghibli can tie its roots to this movie, as we will see later with the evolution of these films. This movie also starts a trend that we will see in any movie that Hayao Miyazaki was involved in. For those not in the know, or haven't realized it by now, Miyazaki has quite the affection for swine or pigs, and likes to hide one in some shape or form in any movie he was involved in. So for those movies, I will show where the pig is in a certain point in these videos, and have you at home try to find out where that pig is. In a game I like to call... Studio Ghibli Spot the Pig But what about the movie itself? Is it any good? The movie starts abruptly with no music, as we see our main hero Horus, also called Holes for some reason, is fighting off a pack of wolves when he is rescued by a rockabiter named Rakor in the English dub. Rakor tells Holes that those wolves were sent by the villain of this movie, Grunwald. With his father's dying breath, also telling of their homeland being overtaken by Grunwald, Holes sets off on a quest in search of his lost home and this vile villain. The first part of this movie feels like it's rushing through the plot at breakneck speed, barely giving the audience time to breathe. That is, however, until we meet, in my opinion, the real star of the movie, the mysterious singer Hilda. Move over, Princess Mononoke. Step aside, Sophie. Hilda is the premier Ghibli girl. For a while it looked like this would be another beat the bad guy generic action flick that overpopulated the theaters of Japan back in the day. But once Hilda comes into the picture, the film goes from black and white morals to different shades of gray. When Holes brings Hilda back to the village, she entrances the villagers with her beautiful singing voice supplied by the lovely Corin Orr, who we will see again later in these movies. For with many miles to swim And our own children hardly have grown 
almost too beautiful, as the villagers don't feel like working anymore, just wanting to listen to Hilda sing, and Winter and Grunwald are fast approaching. Is Hilda perhaps working with the enemy? Or is there another side to her story? As much as I like this movie, it does suffer a number of problems. While the animation was really innovative with Takahata's work on the character expressions and the camera work, something that hasn't been done in films up to that point, the movie still went over schedule and over budget. And even then, there are scenes where the animation just dies, mostly during the big invasion battles. Oh my gosh, can't you tell how amazing the action is right now? Look at the dynamic poses of these still images as the camera pans over them. Because of all this, the movie was pulled out of theaters after only 10 days, and the studio that produced it, Toei Animation, fired Takahata and he never worked on another film in their company. Thankfully, the film became really popular with budding animation students and film buffs, and thanks to Eastern Star, we in the States can also enjoy its groundbreaking magic. I could talk on and on about this movie, but we have a lot more films to look at on our Ghibli journey. Alright folks, it's now time to play... Studio Ghibli, spot the pig. The pig in Horus, Prince of the Sun, is the pig-shaped bellows that would later become the inspiration for the prototype logo of Studio Ghibli, at least until they settled upon the My Neighbor Totoro logo that we see today. <laughs> 